If you really wanted to go to the life store, you could throw the Void Spirit in the off lane and throw Death Prophet back over mid. And you could, by the way, it's good. <laughs> Otherwise, they're just going to probably go for some, you know, reload. They need, like, some catch on the other support. Disruptor, maybe a lion. Be nice. I mean, Willow is great because he, she can protect the tombstone with the fear. Jaro is going to want to hit the tombstone in the team fights. So we'll see if they want to go back to that. Do you think maybe they go... Could we see FY on the Rubik for this LGD side? Yeah, possible. Rubik was on the position 4 and 5 is decent. The partner has to have has to be someone that has some instant disable, some reliable catch. So there you go, the Rubik uh, for IG. So they are going to decide if the Shadow Demon is a position four or a position five. Mm, I think I kind of like it on four more because Shadow Demon is uh, one of the few supports that can actually fight undying. So you can actually have your coin in the lead. Spam your poison. Five seconds remaining. And you can go for like some ogre position five or whatever you want. Admiral Tonka. Could be Kunkka for IG. This is, I want to say probably a mid Kunkka. Could be a four Kunkka though. Uh, uh, most likely mid. You want Kunkka against the. It's very good against DP. Yeah. All point spirit for that matter. In the lane. Just rounds up their draft uh, pretty well because if you look at what they're lacking, they're lacking some form of like catch. Yeah. Right now, their draft has a lot of team fight and catch. Kunkka's catch, uh, gyro, Kunkka, call down, plus boat is very strong team fight. Of, of course, the Stampede as well, Stampede. And once again, taking a lot of boxes. I think their last hero, preferably, you can, you want a, another hero that has some catch. Uh, some some form of initiation would be nice. Um, would it be worth it maybe for IG to look into potentially going to the Shadow Shaman 4 mm -hmm. where you get yourself that long range shackle you've also got a hex coming yeah, your way. It's decent. It's decent. Not bad. It works with that. Gives them more tower damage. Not, not to say they need more. They already have Sentor and Jaro. Those two heroes can kill buildings. It'll be nice to have uh, an extra wards to kill the buildings. Ten seconds remaining. I know the Phoenix has Five been very popular. I'm surprised remaining. it actually made it that deep into the draft without getting uh, picked up. Phoenix, Phoenix is okay, Radiant but I prefer they have like some catch for IG in their last pick. Some stuns. Stuns will be nice. And there's actually not many options. I'm thinking of Clockwork, but Clockwork kind of sucks against their heroes. Um, I mean, I guess that then it just leads to either Lion or Shadow Shaman. Ten seconds remaining. Disruptor doesn't feel that great here. Five seconds remaining. There's no Nyx. Nyx is grand. Uh, yeah, Nyx, Nyx has been very focused in being a first phase ban the most you know, annoying hero in the game the pain in the butt the knicks i think he's been first phase uh all three games I and mean, almost i think first ban all three games he really is he feels so strong right now and they go lion yeah. yep so that's gonna give them the uh their catch and the lane is pretty decent. I actually think it might be. I would rather have Lion on position four, to be honest, if that's the case. Lion and Centaur. Actually, maybe not. Maybe Shadow Demon, Centaur, and Lion with Gyro. But I feel like Lion will benefit more with items compared to Shadow Demon. They both need items, but Lion, Lion needs the items more than Shadow Demon. So I will put the Lion on position four. So for LGD. They need to run out the draft with, uh, I guess, an off laner in. 
Oh, that's a pretty good pick. Yes, I heals. Yep, that's actually good against the gyro. But it's not so good against Shell Demon. Shell Demon is like a really good hero against Crystal Bat. Because of the Soul Catcher, you can always uh, deal so much damage to him. The Crystal Bat be becomes not tanky against SD. So it will be an off lane Bristle back. You've got the four position Rubik FY, X Nova on the Undying, Sominus on that Void Spirit mid, and Chalice on the safe lane Death Prophet. And it's like a repeat of the second line. game. Yeah, it's like a repeat of the second game drop. Sorry, four position uh, line, right? Yeah, Kaka has the four, so it will be that four position line getting a, a little bit of priority on that farm. Like IG once again has a very straightforward, like very easy to play drop, like easy to execute. Everything is like very set so very clear. And LGD has a drop that has very strong lanes, but they don't have as uh, well balanced drop as uh, the radio. <coughs> so. Who are you liking here between the two teams more? Are we seeing, you know, because I, I, I always like the same. draft that uh, has a easier way of executing, which is the Radiant draft this time. But the, that's also the last game. I also like their draft more the last game, but they lost their lanes way too much. So this game, I hope that doesn't happen for them. I guess it probably won't, because this time he's on a gyro. Gyro in his so back. Mm, but the link itself can go wrong. It all depends on the first two waves, like who gets the last hit on the range or gets denied. And you get to a level 2 or level 3 faster than the enemy side. And then you're going to see one kill lead into another and the lane will be over for the Bristol. I think this lane is going to be very volatile. It's all going to come down to the first few waves. But the Bristol back, he can, I think he can, and what he can do is like go behind the creeps and just uh, cut the creep. That would be an option for him as well if he doesn't want to confront the lane. And Raiden seems like to make sure that this Bristol Bear has no game, which is also a really good idea. Because I think the Sentinel can actually do do well in the lane alone against the Lion and PP. He's gonna get uh he's gonna get pressure, but he can cut the wave and just get some level. It's gonna completely destroy this Bristol Bear. And we've got the centaur looking to do the same thing again. You know, gets the shared tango and uh, looking to yeah. grab the bounty rune the, and get that ring of I mean, the, the ring of Tarasia. Yeah. But if you think more about what's important, if you have a poor, say you have a poor Bristol and the other the other enemy has a poor Sentinel, I think a poor Sentinel would definitely contribute a lot more than a poor Bristol back. So I think this is going to be a good trade for IG. If they decide to try lane. So this could just be for first blood. Yeah. But... No go. Rocket Barrage coming through an old 11. A lot of damage being done with the Shadow Poise in on this Bristle back. And they are looking to maybe focus Ollie. Oh, a lot of damage coming through where Shadow Demon with the stacks of Bristles on him is in a lot of trouble and ends up dead. So first blood there for LGD. I think a little bit of overconfidence Wait. there. From, they got uh, four runes and first blood. Serious? Wow. <laughs> four runes and that's like one thousand gold. Is it one thousand gold? One thousand. Uh, forty each. Yeah, times five, two hundred. Or no, eight hundred gold. Yeah, but with the first blood. Oh, okay. oh and first blood. Yeah, Actually, you included the, the, first the blood. I did. Yeah, the second. The second kill would definitely make it around 1,000. Yeah, and 1,000 net worth lead already. And I'm not getting any of the bounty runes. It's like JT was hoping to get at least one so he could have the ring of Tarask <laughs> a little quicker than this. Oh dear. So once again, IG is going to be off to a, a tough start in the lanes. Ooh. So that, that kill is going to... For sure. But I think the Bristleback kind of, I think he kind of wants to die and come back because he used up so much mana in the... I feel like he doesn't really mind dying, to be honest. And he's going to bring the boots uh, for the Ubi. It's not a terrible death. Hmm. It's, uh, you know, one that definitely IG had needed. You're talking about how they, they want to shut down this Bristleback and they... I, did you, are you surprised they're not going with the uh, 
the, the, the yeah the three one one. Yeah, a little bit, but I think they feel like they can win the top thing if the centaur is with the lion. Because if you wanted to do the three one one, I don't think he would start his items like this. He want tango. He wants to rush the ring of Karos like that. But I feel like even with the lion here, the centaur is not gonna have a good time because it's an undying. You know? Undying is very very hard to deal with for, for any strength hero for that matter. That's why I felt like the tri lane might be a reasonable option for them. Right now, the centaur is just getting pushed out of the lane. Oh, so just on the edge, hits JT, and yep. Kaka kind of has to be careful. He turns around for a moment, and oh my, that Crypt Swarm, uh, scary as well. Oh my, it's, this is LGD really dominating for the moment in a couple of these areas. And how about the mid lane? 14, it's like 50, 50. All right, TP bot lion, let's go. Don't go top anymore. Yeah, especially FY surviving for a second. They've got a five stacks of Shadow Poison out on old 11. It looks like maybe five five wants to continue to go in, uh, but Shadow Poison will run out and do about okay, mm, two thirds see. of damage. Where is this TP going? Let's see. He's thinking about it right now. <laughs> this this TP is going to be very important. That will decide the game a lot. Of where he's going. Also, he decides to TP top to help him. But I'm not sure if it's the right move. So they see the TP. The moment the TP is completed, uh, Dyer is going to pressure bot. Bristleback is playing really, really. Do they have and the health and mana to gonna... play this aggressive though? Right, he's got seven wand charges, so and he's also got the salve. So yeah, okay. Yeah, but so well. I think he can as long as he knows that the lion is not going to be able to come bot, then he can play aggressive. That's why I, I feel like the lion's movement would dictate a lot of what's going to happen right now. Like he's giving a lot of room for this person so that he play the game. Disruption out as well as the Rocket Barrage. FY throws a Fable that hits on both Ali as well as Fly Fly and Old Eleven. Like he said, he wanted to play aggressive and he'll just continue to oh, run career? forward with the Quill Spray. Oh, that's oh, huge. Old Eleven's Courier that had the Ring of Region on. Oh, his mana. Oh, his mango. His mango and... Okay, maybe maybe that's not worth it anymore now since he died. But the Bristleback has no region now because the Courier died. So the ideal situation is this Rubik has to go back and take his item, take some, some region. <sighs> maybe some mango to some clarity for the Bristleback. Um, so mid lane, the Concar is starting to pull ahead, uh, like I expected with the Tidebringer Harass. Eventually, he's going to uh, come out. And top lane Centaur is just going to have a really, really hard time because of the Undying. Bounty runes coming up now. So let's see if it's going to be a 4-0 again for LGD. No, this should be Probably. at least two top for IG, you'd like to hope. Mm -hmm. Or oh, yeah, the re reverse sweep. Oh. Uh, yeah, two apiece. Thought Chalice might be able to steal that one. He, if he gets this kill on the Kaka, could potentially steal this other one, yeah. but uh, not going to catch Strength up to this one. Yeah, that early extra movement speed there from the Tranquils. Yep. And it's time for our first catapult. So we look at mid right now. Uh, two, we see two supports already moving over to mid lane on the INTP mid uh, to refill the bottle for the Void Spirit. And Kaka is around the neighborhood. Konka's level 6, so immediately. Got the X. And pulls him doesn't back have into the boat. Uh, he doesn't have dissimilate, so can't dodge. Yeah, they get the sun out on a Somnus, they'll get the kill. X though also rotates in. He's not gonna die for this though. Even at level two, the decays make him more than tanky enough to withstand those two heroes coming in. Never. That's a much needed cure for IG there. Both the silence are not going too well for them before that. Uh, right now, we see a TP. Uh, Voice Spirit is coming in. He's level 5. Thanks once again, but there's the 8th Remnant rune. trying to grab the... Oh, Arcane he got level rune. 6! <laughs> yeah, gets in front of it with the Astral Step, and now they might actually even lose the Kunkka. Sonus gets oh, the kill, was, he's got clutch. some help. That was really clutch. He landed the Aether Remnant so he could buy himself some time. And the creep hit the creep and he got level 6. That was very clutch. And bot lane, 3 heroes 
towards the crystal back. Can they kill him? They'll try. Rocket Barrage, Full Spray, starting to stack up on Flyfly. They've got the disruption, but there's the Fade Bolt. Kaka now needs to run. Hex comes oh, in stuck. onto the Rubik, and Old Eleven still surviving, but the homing missile will finish him off. <laughs> Not like, sure if that was intended, but he was stuck. Uh, he, he tried to, you know, put himself at the corner so the, the gyro couldn't uh, go in front and land the rocket barrage from the front. But mm -hmm. it actually killed him because the destroyer was actually able to trap him at the corner. Uh, top lane, JT is trying to run away from the D DP. Should be able to TB. Yeah, I don't have a stun for that. Yeah, great plays all around the map so from both teams. So we're gonna see a bit more of a passive passive farming right now before uh, we have more levels on this side. Oh, Kunkar is still oh, at bottom. He's gonna be able to. Uh, but he's a bit too tacky though. I don't think he can kill him. He's giving a lot of. Uh, I think this is a very important move. Whenever you have all these like supports that need a lot of levels, it's pretty important for the core one of the calls to make this kind of move, so the support can have a link to farm. But in the meantime, uh, the Kunkka is just going to have to just run around and just try to do whatever he can. Lion. He's alone now, so... Ooh, Kaka on the run! Eighth Remnant lands and gets the kill, but that allows Old Eleven to go down and bottom as he was by himself. It's eight to four. And and it's pretty even. And you can see the sh shadow demon that making the kill very easy because of the soul catch. It's very, very deadly to to the bristle back. You you have to buy like some kind of dispel like uh, like a grease or lotus or to remove it in the fights. Now is bristle the builder on either of those or? Uh, not sure know, though. We like, somewhere else. Lo lo I can see. Him buy lotus but i'm not sure about the griefs i don't think he'll buy griefs just but you only get lotus like like a third, third as your third item i think you don't get it early so the dire one once again is bringing a lot of heroes down to i think we saw the same move uh, with the death profile i think it was on ig they did a the, uh, move like this when death profile is level six and they move four people bottom exactly And right now, the top lane is vacant, so Rubik's gonna TP in to get the experience. Uh, I like this TP. You don't really want to waste too much of the experience coming in here by, ha by having too many heroes on bottom lane. So, 10 minute outpost. Uh, Dai is gonna try to defend the top outpost. JT grabs it, but still 25 seconds to try and grab this back here for the Dire. Meanwhile, Aether Remnant down in a couple of spots. And that is hiding. Look, he's, he's really smart. He's waiting. He's not taking the outpost right away. He's gonna wait to the last moment before he tries to take it. So the Radiant can't really react. Torrent. Oh, oh, oh. Stops it in time. That was so close. Oh man. So. That was right on the edge. They dropped the tombstone down. X Nova, still dead. And this oh, that is could have been extra huge. One gold second. for the tombstone. One second. One second and Dai would have gotten both the outposts. Uh, we saw so right now, how much that was a big deal this. too, right? In the first game. The, yeah, just that was the... a really... It was supposed to get... Compared to the enemy supports and FY here, gonna get hit by the top. s mark still on cooldown. Disruption as well as the boat coming through. Who will steal the boat, throws it over at the Kunkka. Lands onto the Shadow Demon, but... Yep. Nothing really and mid lane, the, the DP is moving here with the catapult, but the center is going to TP in to defend the top. So, neutralizing the push attack by Zion. And Radiant has been doing a really good job at coming back into the game. Remember, they started off the game with four bounty runes towards the Dyer and first bird to Dyer. It was an instant 1000 net worth lead there for uh, LGD. Okay, let's see what is this Zion going to do. Is he gonna try to fight here with the call down? He's gonna move towards middle. Um, not sure though. Don't think they have enough firepower to push this tower right now. Dia is still really strong. They have to farm until they have uh, at least uh, more levels. 
and the gyro actually doesn't have any fighting items. He went for the Morbid Mask. So he's going to go for the Mask of the Farming item. So you're probably not going to see the gyro too much outside of the jungle. Do you think that uh, IG, uh, IG can make enough space here for just the gyro to get this farm? Because they've got a Kunkka who he's gonna is going to be mobile. And he's going to die. He might, yeah, he might just be dead. The Astro Step comes forward as well as the Aether Remnant. It's now it's on a Kaka. Now they've got the Dissimulate as the stun comes through to lock him oh, up. Disruption. Boat flies in. Fly Fly surviving. They've got the buyback coming out from the Lion. And now he's TP back over towards bottom. X pulls back X Nova. And now... Moving forward is old 11. They'll get the kill there out onto Fly Fly. Hex through onto the Bristle back, but Somnus still doing a lot of damage. They have the Silence out onto the line as well as the Shadow Demon. There's the finger flying in to get the kill on the FY. Now they look over at JT. They'll grab themselves a third. They did buy back on the Lion, so it ends up actually being four in favor of LGD. Yeah, classic. I think classic mistake. Yeah, this is a very common mistake by carries. He was here farming, right? Remember, he tipped it here, the gyro. He tipped it here, and then he he walked here, and then he decided he cannot push. But then he went here. This is like the dire area. He needed to go towards the top, even though they already killed this tower. But he needed to come here and play this way. This is the area that he's supposed to. But because he he went bottom, and they were not strong enough, they took the fight, and they lost the fight, and the tower went down as well. So that's, and he died. You know, the, the more important thing is the gyro. and he's going for this kind of like very greedy farm oriented to you. The mass of madness. That's gonna slow him down by a bit. And because of that, Dyer has a 2k, a healthy 2k goalie, right? And Roshan is gonna be on the tables for them soon once they get the middle tower. So, I mean, right now it's a 2000 net worth lead for LGD. They've played this. Uh, pretty perfectly up to this point. They're putting a lot of pressure on using that exorcism off cooldown just about every moment, you know, it comes back up. They used it to get the tier 2 tower over bottom. They get four kills. IG, is it relying on how much space they can make here for the gyrocopter? Well, he needs, like, say, 10, 15 minutes of space, right? And they're gonna have to like try to play the map very well. They, they shouldn't take hit on engages. They have to try to clear the creep heavy the creep waves, clear the creep waves, cut cut waves, or singular pick like Just one kill and run away, or straight lives. But they shouldn't really go too much of a head on fight unless they are really confident like they can win the fight because of a rune or out by outnumbering the X mark mid, FY. And they're gonna try and get this through like gonna... and disruption also comes in onto a plus one that's old eleven. Question is, can they follow this up to get the kill into the bristle back? They've got the boat flying through. That lands, but tank. from there, yeah, he's very tanky, and they just want to retreat off this. They'll use the stampede to get some distance. Not the biggest loss, just a support, but still, anything you can get as IG, you're not going to complain about it. You're just going to take and get it, be happy about it. And Gyro, Gyro is going to be continuing farming, and you see a smoke after the 50 minute down here. So rather strange timing, uh, but they're gonna try to reclaim because mm, uh, I, I know this is team right with IG team. They prioritize a lot of playing around this carry player. No matter where he is, you know, at the right position or the wrong position, they're just gonna try to play around him. And Dyer right now is gonna try to get the tier tower mid tier one and move into Rosh. Oh, Centaur. Centaur and Could be a big kill. the remnant. Pulling them close, and now they've got the telekinesis. Viscous Nasal Goo comes out with the help from the rest of the team to get the kill out on a JT, and like you said, that, that just turns rush, into a right? tier one. They kill this tower and move into rush. I think, or oh, they're gonna choose to defend the bottom tier. Rush seems to be a bigger deal right now. I think for Dyer. Yeah, you can certainly get that Aegis on and continue to you know extend that net worth lead, and they're gonna go for it with the Exorcism. So the trade-off Radiant is going to get is, uh, this Gyro is going to be close to his BKB. He's halfway there. But they're still going to contest the Roche, huh? keeping multiple heroes. Not sure if they are going to make it on time. Ooh, for oh, a torn as well as the boat, but they can't get in. They still get the Aegis out on the Somnus. Now they're looking for these kills. The Aether Remnant hits onto the Shadow Demon, but there is the Lion Finger to take away the Aegis. 
They get the kill on Ollie now though for more of the Viscous Knaves. Look who's slowing up this Kunkka. And it's starting to do a lot of damage. They'll use the Dissimilate to get behind enemy lines. They'll take out the Undying, or will they? X Nova survives with just a sliver of health. Oh, JT ends up dead. They look over at the Kunkka. They've stolen the Stampede. They catch up at the side of the Radiant. And now they look over at this Lion to get themselves a fourth. And they lose just the Aegis. Oh, do they know he's dead? Do they know? Oh, they stand! Oh dear, he's dead. No TP. They are gonna eventually find him, for sure. I think they even knew he TP into the fight, so there's no way he could get out. And they'll search the trees. Can they find him? FY has spotted him. And this will be a full team wipe, technically. Aether Remnant locks him up. Even with the Rock Barrage doing a lot of damage there on the FY. It is LGD with the full team wipe now pulling away 6,000 net worth in their favor. F4 is the MVP there, man. If they didn't still stampede, they probably couldn't have followed up with the two or three kills here at the end there. Jaro is not ready to fight, and uh, he needs like, way, way more items than this, you know. Like the BKB, even if he gets his BKB, he's still gonna need like another item before he can actually uh, another damage item. Maybe he'll go for uh, hmm. what do you go for? Do you go for butterfly after? Or maybe you go for uh, DP? He's not alone. He has he has done lying around here. Well, dead. Good kill there for IG. A big one. On the yep. chalice. They have, they, have a, they have a lot of wards around here, that's why they, they were able to pinpoint that he's alone. It's like two wards. It's a big kill. Hmm, can they actually. Did they see them? Oh, no, I don't think so. So, so IG is like doing a really good job at moving around. This is what they need. They move the enemy around the map, try to get as much farm as possible on the gyro. Oh, he has no TP again. Are they gonna scout him out here? Can they catch him? Oh, they see him. Oh dear, he has no TP again. Uh, uh. Just trying to run, just trying to get out of here. They uh, look like they're gonna cut him true. off. Can he Goes hide? into the trees once again. <laughs> 10 seconds, he needs he's... 10 seconds. Oh, he's... <laughs> yeah, like old 11's found him. They're so good at uh, hide and seek. They've got the telekinesis, they'll wrap them up, they'll get the kill, they'll take out Fly Five for the second time within the trees. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, he's caught without a TP for the second straight time. I mean, the, the Dyer had bought here, so they didn't see him going top, so they knew he was bottom. That's why they were able to kill, find him. And now, as a result of that 20 minutes uh, outpost, I guess Dyer is going to get both of them. And maybe even four bounty runs here. Or maybe three. Three buttons. That's a huge loss for already. Uh, Gyro has 1,000 gold more to go before he gets to the Oh, yeah. Able to get okay. up. Well done, a lion. Hex as well as a TP. Big deal. <laughs> and Bristle can't even, you know, can't get that solo kill there on the lion. But not that he's really meant no to. Stunts. He's farming up right now, and he no is going stunts, into that lotus. Brother. Yeah, the lotus is going to make him uh, much, much stronger in the team fights against the shadow demon. Very, very necessary. Um, right now, I think if you're Dyer, you want to invade this area. Dyer wants to come over and take this area right now. Uh, Bristleback has a TP. He even has a essence stream. That's a really good item on him. Oh, they seem like they're waiting for something. What are they waiting for? Uh, I feel like every, everyone has everything. I don't think they actually need to wait for anything. The longer the Bristol back stays here, he's gonna die. Like, what is going on? Why is he here? Hello? Oh. Okay, his team is keeping it. Never mind. Yeah, they've got the stun out onto the Bristol, but now they need to leave. Everybody coming over for the, the dire guy. side. Viscous Nasal Guru, are they going to slow up Five Fly enough to lock him down? They've got the Aether Remnant, now the Hex comes out of the Bristle back. The rest of PSG LGD will be here to try and siege this tier 3 tower in the high ground. Stun out onto the Bristle back to commit the Exorcism. Telkinesis oh, call down he... coming through from the Gyro and Chalice. Oh, the save. No, it's not there. They 
can even get this Death Prophet out. They've got the Sun now out on an old 11, as well as X Nova getting low, but he'll soar up to stay alive for a little bit longer. However, they've got the Hoof Stomp to hit. They'll get the kill. Fly Fly gets X Nova. Now they look over to old 11. Two heroes gone on LGD. And that was with Exorcism popped and, oh, and immediately yeah. taken care of. No save there for LGD. They couldn't keep the Death Prophet alive. I think he, he could have stayed alive, though. I think he needed to use the... I mean, either the wall or the use first before he did it. I thought he would have actually stayed alive. Not sure if he was purged. If he was purged, then the use would then be helpful. That was like a very huge uh, turnaround because that was like a very, very strong timing for LGD. Having the, uh, the timing that they have on their... Huh? Okay. Fly, dead over you see, bottom. he's like here again alone. Like he's supposed to be on top. He can't. He can't be farming at uh, this area. This is like the dire's side of the map. For simple yeah. reference, okay, this is the uh, then. It's the second so the time left side he's been caught. Yeah, yeah. The right is the uh, dire. So if you're radiant carry, you usually you want to be on the side. I mean, obviously there are some situations you could you could be on the dangerous side, but not that. Instance. That's why he died. So that's gonna give Dyer another opportunity to siege. Uh, 30 seconds to the. So. Bristol mm, back TP top. So maybe they have to wait for him. Yeah, they have to wait for him. Radiant's gonna try to fight with that Bristol. Oh, mid Void Spirit. X with the boat coming through, but they've got the stun oh, out onto the Kunkka. And comfy. now. Somnus just uh, astral steps away. Easy does it. He's actually so tanky. Yeah. Okay. He's got that Ags now too. I think this new Ags here for Void Spirit is one of the strongest in the game. It, it feels like yeah, why, why does it, it give him so two good. Charge? Yeah, the two charges to me is what makes it so strong. If it was the, one charge, I feel like I'd be okay the silence with that. Is, the, the silence itself, I think, is enough. Okay, like, Astro step forward. Shoulders. Let's see if they can get the kill here on the Void Spirit. He's running away from the homing missile as well as the BKB being popped by Chalice as he puts on the pressure towards oh, IG. But everybody's starting Jeff to get D. away from him. Crypt Swarm, one more IG shot. High ground, no. Shoutout even gets the save there with the disruption. Silence hit, it's on the gyrocopter, but they've got the two-man stun coming up from JT. And the finger again blows up Chalice. X Nova goes down as well. Now they'll try to Astro step away. Somnus with a double damage, but five heroes here for IG to make sure that he doesn't turn. FY also dies, and LGD taking another fight that goes poorly for them. Yep, again, overzealous with the death proper running up the high round. There are no beaches. Hope Stomp, yeah. this could be all five. Dissimulate to survive. Another Astro step, but they've got the oh, X. They'll oh, get the I kill, see. and now they look over at old 11. He's the last one alive for LGD. And Hex onto the Lotus Orb. Can the Quills get the kill out on Akaka? No, he's made enough space between him and the Bristleback. And he's starting to take away that mana. He'll survive for a long time. However, eventually, Lotus. I'd like to yes, think Lotus. eventually he ends up dead. And there it finally is. Full team wipe there for IG, and all of a sudden now the net worth is sitting even. A bit of like miscommunication. The Bristol was like here, you know, he, he, when they are taking a fight here. He was so far away. But uh, to his uh, team's defense, I think he shouldn't farm this wave. He farmed this camp, he dragged the creep wave. Like, on the, I mean, I think when he cleared this wave here, he should have just run to his team. Instead, he tried to take one more wave, and he dragged to the camp here. You know, this kind of things might seem like very small, but it actually affects the game. Like, and here we get a like, catch again, the gyro forced to be hit. Forced to use that right. 8 second didn't, BKB. Yeah, and didn't die this time, but forced to use BKB. And that could be a problem, because, you know, if they want to look for Roche or take a fight here and get a couple of pickoffs and go for Roche, they don't have the BKB oh, ready on up. the gyrocopter. Oh, yeah, you're right. Roche is up. So Dyer is probably going to look to do Roche. Everyone's alive. I mean, this is the thing again with this player. He's always playing, like, this is the dangerous area. Like, you generally shouldn't really be clearing the crit waves as a carry there. 
only with specific heroes you can do. And all these things are very small. It's a very small detail, you know, but it changes the game. So now they cannot contest the launch. He has no BKB. <coughs> Just she's in the hands of LGD, and they've got a lead. Oh. Got a they lead have to make again. sure this DT does not do something suicidal in the push again. Yeah, I feel like the, the the push needs to be a little bit more uh, picture perfect from LGD. They've kind of faltered yep, the last couple the, times. Uh, kind of like we're going to go for the Centaur, but they've got the Stampede now. Have to step forward as well as the Aether Remnant. And there's the BKB being popped by Chalice. They'll get the Sun on the Kaka. They have also taken out JT. This is a good fight so far for LGD, but the Soul comes out of the Chalice. They've got the Silence out onto the Shadow Demon. Old 11 continuing to try and chase. Shadow Demon goes to the low ground, the blink forward, and it's a yeah, good job by Ali to juke him out. Nice. Uh, that was very, very questionable. Like, there's no way that they could kill the crystal back there. That's like, literally. I mean, I'm sure he doesn't have the cheese, but I still don't think. They weren't even, they, they like did like, what, 10% damage to him of his full HP. <laughs> and now they're gonna lose their Rex, unless they can blow up the Death Prophet again. But they have no Lion this time, so I highly doubt it will happen. We'll see how much they stay for, too. The more bodies that IG throws at this, the worse off they might be. Stun out on the Void Spirit. There's the finger, and they've blown him up. But now can they do that a second time? They've got the telekinesis. They'll disarm this gyrocopter. Saved by the disruption coming through. The BKB being popped by Fly Fly. The Dissimulate now moving back is Somnus. Old 11 continuing to man the front lines on this as he is A-OK. -okay. BKB about to run out on the Kunkka. They've got the Spirit Vessel out as well as the Hex yep. on the Bristle, but he really, he's turning towards them still. That's what was going. It's very, very hard for them to do it at the moment. The Gyro can't really hit. Don't think that they can defend the Rex anymore. It's probably going to lose, they're going to lose the melee. Oh no, Repair Kit. Oh, why not? They have Repair Kit. Of course. <sighs> hard to break through that Repair Kit. This is so sad. They're still looking to wait and maybe go back in. It seems like LGD are just looking for the proper moment if it, uh, you know, presents itself to dive forward. Wink, as well as the hoof stomp, but they've got the telekinesis coming from FY out of the Centaur. Can they get the kill on Old 11? He's still continuing to run. He has the essence ring that keeps him alive. And now with the spirit siphon coming through from Chalice, as well as the stun from FY. Three man <laughs> stun comes out from the lion. And that's not enough to save the Kunkka, though. They still look for JT. They've got the Viscous Nasal Goose slowing him up behind the Tier 4 Towers. Hex comes out from Kaka on Old 11, as well as the Sun hitting on him and the Death Prophet behind him. But now Gyro's gone without buyback. None of them have buyback who just died. I think that's skin. That's your game. And no buyback. We can just uh, end the game. They have Exorcism in oh, 20. Yeah, I think that should be game. <laughs> What an abrupt end. Yeah, IG just trying to hold mid set of racks and LGD continue to poke and prod and stay and eventually it turns out into a, a very advantageous fight and I think the series. The story of this game. Get the story kill on the of Kaka. The The story of this game is this mode here, where the Gyra died here twice. Yeah, getting caught without his team. Old 11 with oh, his yeah. back turned towards to the, <laughs> the well. Oh, Repair kit. the lane, please. Did wow. anything go wrong with the lane? Oh, they didn't end the game. Never mind. <laughs> okay, I thought they could have ended the game, so they're gonna wait for the Repair next kit to OP. Yeah, repack it. Of course, they have repack it. I didn't even notice they have repack it. And 12,000 net worth lead. And the Ancient Exposed. One more fight that goes in their favor, and then that's just the end of the game.
Yeah, but that's gonna. I think the gyro has enough time right now to make enough gold to buy it. Like anything, you know, just buy an extra. If they if they have slightly more damage, I think they can they can still win the tier fight. Yeah, like the gyro needs to buy on... something. There's no damage right. Now. A lot of those heroes on LGD were slivers from death at, at multiple points throughout that fight, especially old eleven. I mean, I'm thinking if the push comes, maybe he has to buy a crystal. I think that's like the best thing he can buy. I don't think he needs to save by back, you know. Like either right now is if he defends the next push and he, he can win the game or he just dies and they lose. So keeping my back is like pointless right now for the gyro. He has to buy whatever he can to boost his damage. With, with what little net worth he has at the moment. Yeah, Sim behind all three cores on LGD. And they're gonna smoke up. So they try to come through okay. mid, try to finish this the should game. Be the last hurrah. They have to de they have to defend the high ground here. This is their best shot. They have to hold this. Uh, uh, oh, they, if they run down and fight, they will lose. Shows they have to fight. Wing clips have a lot of damage out onto the Bristleback immediately, and the boat flying through. They'll get the kill there on old oh, eleven. He doesn't have buyback. The tombstone is down. And now, Chalice with the BKB, they've got the sun flying through, but is it going to be enough here for LGD to take this game? They look over at JT, they'll get the kill there onto the Centaur, they've got the telekinesis out of the Gyrocopter, they'll get the kill, he's got buyback, he'll use it immediately, now, negative on the run. Exorcism, though, doing a lot of damage, and the Kunkka can't hide for long, as they end up getting the kill there onto the Kunkka, he's dead for 78 seconds without buyback. Homing Missile comes through over to the top, but it won't matter, buyback is used by old 11, and all five are alive for LGD once again. They look over at the Shadow Demon, double kill there for Chalice as they take out Ali. Three heroes without buyback, and that could just be the finishing touches. Yep. That was the last for uh, I thought they had a chance though, <laughs> when they killed the Bristol back in the side. But too far beyond. He just ran up the higher ground, so look at you, stun and he died. <laughs> GG called. Gyrocopter ends up dead, as does the Lion, and LGD will take the series 2-1. Uh, I think uh, a series which had a lot of quality. Uh, both teams played uh, well. Uh, and there were certain mistakes here and there, but overall I think both teams played really well. It was a high quality series. How did you play that? First two, first two games, I think first two games was about the laning phase, and the last game was more about like the movement, you know, the map movement, on how the teams are, like how specific movements should be done, like all the very small details. Yeah, because if at the end of the day, it kind of falls on Fly Fight for that poor positioning over towards bottom and being away from his team in a spot that being there makes him super vulnerable. The, 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 the thing is, like, I, I've seen this team play a lot, and the way they play is like, I would see that, for me, I see that he's in the wrong position. But for his team, they would play around him regardless of where he is, you know, in the right or wrong position. Like, that's how I noticed that they, they play. They do it whatever they can for the carry. Like, what I mentioned to you, like with the map, the left side on Radiant, right side for Dyer, that one is usually the general consensus of how you split the map in half. But for this team, I feel like they don't really use that as a guidance or uh, guideline to which side of the map they are playing. They tend to just follow the carry more, right? What the carry wants to do, they will just like try to support him with whatever they can do. Which, in that case, I felt like even if they brought the numbers, it was difficult for them to contest that area because uh, the dire side were already there, already, you know. Like, that's the downside of playing like this. Sometimes it becomes too forced to make that kind of move. It just it ended up being that play style that really kind of hurt them a little bit, and uh, yeah. you know, leave or die by the sword. Yeah, basically. And, and now LGD they take the two one victory. We'll be up next with Vici against Newbie. So stay right there. We've got the solo matchup uh, to decide the coin flip coming up next, and then uh, probably a short break after that to uh, get everything settled within the lobby. So we'll be back with that. How, in just how much a moment. time do we have? Uh, like two hours? I'm not certain. They just posted the lobby 
Um, but I'm not sure when that's going to start. All right. It should be rolling relatively soon. So I, I expect it to start uh, probably within the next half hour. I could probably, I'll, I'll probably ask during the break, and then I'll let you guys know in chat. So we'll be back in just a moment. Stay right there, and uh, we'll be back with more Dota in a second. 